it's very challenging indeed both for family members and for the wider community to come to terms with the loss of someone who was such a big man in, in our town and indeed in the whole area. I mean, he does have a large family, a good family, a strong family, four youngsters and a wife, Hazel, and they are, as you can imagine, absolutely stunned by what has happened. Community also, because he was a man who gave himself to the community and had many wider interests, which were all supportive of family life and friendship and other folk, and uh, he is a sad and tragic loss to each and every one of them in many, many different ways. He was on duty. He was where he was, doing what he was required to do, and tragedy overwhelmed him. I haven't lived amongst them, amongst the people of Egremont, for a terribly long time. I've only been here a year, but there is a rugged resilience, but there is also a deep sensitivity and understanding of people's pain. And I think that will take some time to come through. But here in the west, the west of Cumbria, in a sense, in its isolation, it is strong. It is robust and it is resilient.